Welcome back to the Stephen A. Smith Show right here over the digital airways of YouTube. My next guest is a founding member of the legendary rap collective, the Wu-Tang Clan. He's also a Grammy-nominated solo artist, now out with his 12th studio album. Set the tone, Guns N' Roses, and a new memoir called Rise of a Killer. We'll get into all of that and more. Please welcome to the show, the one and only, Ghostface Killer. What's up, my brother? My brother, my brother, my brother. Everything is good over here. God bless. Everything is good. How about you? Damn right. I'm doing good. I'm talking to you. That's why I'm doing real good right now. That's right. That's let, right. Let, 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 me, let me get this out of the way, man. How are you feeling about life right now? You got a memoir coming out. You got an album coming out. What's life been like for you, bro? I mean, it been, yo, I'm blessed, man. You know what I mean? I, I can't ask for nothing more right now. Um, You know, I worked hard on, a, on the album you know, in the mix of the Wu-Tang tour and stuff like that. So I have to run in the studio, come back out, you know, get the time off, go back in and work that out. And then at the same time, when the COVID kicked in, I was writing the memoir and um, Rides of a Killer. And um, everything just so happened to come out at the same time. And then my first interview with you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there you go. Well, listen, well, you, you you know I'm privileged. You know I'm privileged. I ain't mad at you at all. This yeah. is an honor and a privilege, my brother. The Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. I know what time yeah. it is. I know who I'm talking to right now. But 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 yeah, but yeah, let me yeah. ask you. I mean, when, when you thought about when you thought about writing a memoir and, and and you know, what what inspired you to do it? Was it just COVID? Did you just have a lot to say? Was there a lot of shit that you was holding in over the years? What was it, what was it? More or less, my manager was like, yo, you know, people love when I tell stories and especially in my raps and stuff like, and then my sense of humor. So they always been telling me like, yo, you need to do a book, you need to do a book. So a couple of my guys in the clan, they dropped the book, Raekwon and you guys had dropped, Rizzo had dropped it first. And then it was like, you guys' manager was like, yo, you need to do one. I'm telling you. So they were always against me. So I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. Just so happened when COVID came around, um, they got the right in and we just started just going in. So, yeah. What about just, the album, you know, though? Because it's not just a memoir. It's not just a memoir. You got an album coming out. What, 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 what's that about in yeah, terms of the timing? It, it, I know this is what you do. Yeah. The album the, the album was already in the in the making for a little bit of a minute. Because first I was going to, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a soul baby. So I was going to go the R&B route a little bit. But then I thought about it. I haven't gave my fans ghost face in a minute. So I'm like, um, mm. you know what? I got to switch it up. So I kept the R&B songs, a couple of them, but I had to make it more, more with my, for what my fans know me for. So, you know what I mean? So I mixed them all together. That's why it's Guns N' Roses. The females kind of, female side was kind of like the Rose side. The Guns was kind of like, you know, for the streets, you know, because it's called Set the Tone, because I'm setting the tone for my, new, my next album called Supreme Clientele, number two, because I did the first one already. So this is two. So I put, I said, yo, you know, I'm going to call it Set the Tone. When's Supreme Clientele coming out? When's that coming out? Oh, 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 that'll be out like another 12 months, though. But I'm going um, I'm, okay. I'm to drop a single like at the top of the year. I'm going to drop a single at the top of the year. Okay, okay. I'll be looking forward to that. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. when, when, when somebody says, when somebody says Ghostface Killer and they're talking about you, what do you think right. that should personify? What do you think that should mean? They say Ghostface Killer. What do you want to be known as? Of... As far as far as far as what like the the way the way they as no far as I'm the just name, talk, like I'm just talking name. about your persona S somebody looking at you somebody knowing your work knowing your history knowing what you bring to the table and then you know yes. juxtaposing that to this day and age what we living in now what do you I mean, want just, to be that, known as How, nah just 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 for me putting that work in just putting that work in you know what I mean like when mm -hmm. you get to know me you get to understand like the name might so sound stronger than 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 you know when you meet me. And stuff like that. But, you know, I'm, I'm a very down-to-earth person. You know what I mean? I love to, like, speak on, you know, good vibes and, you know, just chill out, laugh like anybody else. Like, you know what I mean? But when it comes to that music, it's like, it's it's different. It's different. It's, it's just it's just a different whole new ball game. It's, it's just deadly. So I want them to, to respect my pen, to respect the work that I put out. Um, and then I'm going to continue to put out through the grace of God and um and my vision and my legacy. Mm. You know what I mean? So right. that's 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 Ghostface right there. That's Ghost. Yeah, that's the one of the Wu Tang Clan. That's him right there. That's his work. You know what I mean? So I carry that flag, my own flag, with, for my with my own lane as Ghostface Killer. You know what I mean? Tony Starks and everything. Yeah, that's there. But Ghostface is what set it off. 
What I love about listening to you, talking to you, and what have you is like, you know, you it's not just about wanting to have a good time or whatever, but you're a candid brother. You're going to let people know where you stand. You're going to let people know what you think oh, yeah. about a lot of different issues. And you've spoken about a lot of things, including the state of hip hop. And now, and if I remember correctly, you were alluding to how you feel it's lost its substance. Talk about that for a second. How are you feeling about today's hip hop industry? And when you make a statement like that about it losing its substance, why do you feel that way? Um, because I remember coming in and even listening to the greats, it was like the, we had something to say. We had, you know, it was character. We had topics. I feel that we lost a lot of that. And, 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 um, like everything is more like simple now. I know things never stay the same. So it was bound to happen. You know what I mean? But things don't, they don't stay the same. So you got the younger generation that's like when we did cream. And all the other songs we did, we know we talked about the struggle. We talked about it and made it still where it was still cool. And um, and and those one out, those are our biggest records. Now, when you look at the the generation like right now, everything is like you know naked females and it's simple rap to me. Don't get me wrong, I'm down for a black man to always go get his money, black woman and everything. But I think there's ways that you can still go about it. You know what I mean? So. Once you get trapped in that world, it's like you almost be, you become that. And that's all you know. See, when it comes to writing like raps that I used to do, that I mean that I do, it's it takes time. You got to sit at that table, at least for like for me, because I'm a slow writer. It takes me like to get a good one out, maybe like four hours. But sometimes it takes longer than that if it's really good and you got to come back to it. These kids could just go in there and just do whatever, as long as they mention in, liquor jury cars and 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 women in there it seems like okay you made a record you know what i mean and, and drugs so 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 but i remember we had to when i was going again when we had nas biggie smalls uh uh uh, uh mob deep the clan everything we had to really write and it excited me when i heard a nod or something because it inspired me now it's like i know the generation is way younger so i don't really get that much inspired except by my peers when i hear like jada kissing these guys that keep me up on point but um yeah it's it's really different it's like you don't even got to be a rapper to, to 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 make a hit you know what i mean you ain't got to be nothing you could be a, a nobody and somebody could write it for you or or you just and it's like you just a one hit wonder just because you got the grand we didn't have the grand i remember we, it's, it's 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 like 15 of us in the fifth, I mean, in in in, in, in like a, uh, I mean, twenty, like in a fifteen passenger van, we slobbered on each other going to radio and sleeping on each other's necks and throats, just in an all white van, just trying to get to the next spot. These, you know, it was a struggle. These guys don't got to do that, you know. Got you. You know, I, I. So this begs the question, Ghostface: Is it? Do you believe they just young, don't know no better? Do you believe the industry? is to blame for the content that we seeing out there? Or do you believe that the young brothers and sisters, they, 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 they sold out to get the money and that's all they want to talk about? You know, what, what, what do you think is the re What do you think it is? I think social media. I think social media played a lot on it um, because you could just be, I've seen stuff that like, I wouldn't even expect to just take off and it just take off like, but where is the, where's the raps? And it just made it so easy. So if everybody, I think, let me see, because if you've got a lot of people liking, it just goes to where their mindset is at. It's they, it's their mindset as well, because like when, when I was younger, when I was, when I was like 15, 16, it was like, I used to hang with the older guys and it almost felt like, yo, you know what? My mind was there. Like I was like, like, oh, I was like an old young person. You know what I mean? But it just seemed like somewhere yeah. down the line, yeah, you know what I mean? Because it seemed like somewhere down the line, these kids just got stuck. But I can't really blame them. You got to blame the parent. Right. You know? Because that's where it all comes from, because they're looking at us, and they're looking at them. You also blame the media. You didn't like the way, you know, you, you've you been critical of the media's role in covering music these days. What, what What's the oh, issue yeah. with the media? Because they, they just... It's, they just give it just a, it's, it's just real quick. It's like, all right, take for instance, the media got a, you know what? Even with the Drake and Kendrick thing, it's like with the one, one part of the media, it's like they can, they're going at it, right? And those are two black, you know, are, are, are their brothers, you know what I mean? But it's like, 
and they amping it on though. And I know Baron was okay. always good for for the soul. You know what I mean? Just just for whatever. But it's like it's like yo, God forbid, one of these young men go out there and get killed. Since y'all was the one refereeing the whole situation, the social media and the DJs, it's like, then I can hear right now, we got to stop this. We got to this. And we got to that. Right. You know what I mean? And the media, and then I'm like, oh, now you want to sit there. But you wasn't saying it when it was lit and it was just on fire. And y'all up there saying, like, we got right. 24 hours to go respond. You know what I mean? So mm. the, the media, it got its ways of playing it. And, and people follow the yeah, media. Yeah, I will say this, so though. The media, I will say yeah. Yeah. I will say this. I will say this to you, though. I get your point, and I'm in the media. You mm -hmm. right? Hell, we ain't gonna right. sit up here in front and act like you ain't right. I get that. But what I would also right. say is that you got cats in the hip hop industry that was pushing it too. Yo, this is what it was. This is how it yes, always right. been. You battled. This was they, they. They they were sitting up there egging it on. I mean, they were doing it more than the damn media was. What about them? Exactly. I'm reading the comments, and you're right. And you're right. right. And I'm just looking at it like, because every time I, somebody passed away through violence, and it's like, yo, we got to, but y'all was just about to bring, y'all was just waiting for this and waiting for that. So I'm like, yo, you know what? You know, I'm, let me just stay in my lane. And, and, and you know, at the same time, I'm, I'm glad that I'm aware of the situation and how it, because sometimes some people can't see it. But you know what? I can see it and I know where it's going. You know what I mean? So, but um, it's, it's a combination of things with this generation that's coming into right now. Like, you know what I mean? And when they doing it, they getting a yeah. little bit more personal. They digging up receipts and this and that. Before, when we did it back then, you know, you know, you had your LLs and this one and that one. And it was like, okay, it seemed like it was more fun. It was, it was hip hop. Now it was, you know, it is what it is now. What are your thoughts about Kendrick Lamar and Drake? You brought them up. What were your thoughts when that was going on and, and they were going back and forth at one another to some degree? Still is to a little yeah. less, to a little less, it's quieted down a little bit. Hell, some people joke yeah. they probably be on tour together in a year, within a year, something exactly. making mad dough over this. What, 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 exactly. are, what are you your what? thoughts about what are your thoughts about what's going on? And if they do be on tour in a year from now, I'll be happy just to see those guys get ahead and, and mend that. You know what I mean? But um That's right. Don't I, I thought it was gonna be um because they considered like between J. Cole, Drake, and 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 Kendrick, they like the top for this generation, like the top three, three lyricists. You know what I mean? And to okay. see, you know, we always want to see the best, Stephen A. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's like the C O O word. You got Kendrick and you got Drake. You know what? It's gonna get interesting. You know what I mean? But then I'm hearing it and I'm hearing it, and then it's real personal. And then they really like, yeah. like going like like digging up old receipts and, and this one, like it wasn't really the hip hop. Like I know when, you know, you had, you know. That's what I was trying to tell people. I said, yo, yeah. this is too damn personal. This is some, y'all going beyond the pale with this shit. We don't need to be knowing yeah. all of this. We yeah. don't need to be knowing all of this. Exactly, brother. So, and, and that's how I took it. Then after a while, I had to really like, yo, you know what? It is what it is. And you know what I mean? All right, this is the new generation. All right, cool. Long as nobody get hurt, I'm 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 cool with it. But I don't gotta like keep sticking my head and who did this and what Drake said and what Kendrick said and this and that, man. Like you say, hopefully they get on tour together and make a ton of money. You know what? Uh, when you think when you talk about lyricists and how they 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 at the top of their game or whatever, uh, I'm gonna ask you to give me five. Five people. I'm talking about all time. Um, all time. Who, when, when you when you look at it from that perspective, I mean, five, five godlike figures like yo, these these are the brothers that's been at, that should always be revered in this industry. Who would they be in the hip hop industry to you? Five, five. five. Give me five. You, you know, five is really not enough. You know that, right? I know that because I know that hell yeah. I said to say, yeah. you know why I can ask you this right I because I suffered the consequences I was talking about Eminem and Nas and everybody was getting on me about this shit I'm like this if I'm a, oh, I'm, I'm a media person I'm a sports journalist damn it How right. I, if, if they can get on me about it I damn sure can ask those cats in the hip-hop industry who, who's the real right. top five okay okay you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you five but it's way more than five to me, so I don't want nobody to take it personal. All right, but I'm gonna give you, I'm okay. gonna give you five that that usually that'll go make me right. That makes me right. Okay, and that'll right. be that'll be Nas, definitely. 
I tell them all the time, yo, nice you're a golden special. child, bro. Golden child. Golden yep. child. Um, even my brother right. genius. Genius. Genius is like a walking, like, like a he's like a a, a a Wall Street journal. I mean, I I admire you when you, you know, because you don't taught me words, you know what I mean? Just watching you, that, <laughs> let, me go look, let me go look that up. You know what I mean? And see what that is. Right. But um, 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 I'll say nah, genius. Uh, I love Slick Rick. I love Slick Rick. You know what I mean? Was one of that's where I got my jewelry from. Was Slick? I got I got to oh, put yeah. him in there. Um, and and storytelling too. Storytelling. You oh, know no what I mean? Because but you got gay. Where? Who? You see them? Oh, all right, two more. Yeah, I you got um. Yeah, two more. I got that's um, three. Give me two more. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's like you could take a Kooji rat. You know what I mean? Because he okay. was hard. But then, but then you still got your cane and your rock Kims that start going into the other, you know what I mean? Like, it's, they they just there. See, I'm, I, I, I'm with Kane, Big Daddy Kane. People sleep on what that brother yeah. was doing. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I mean, listen, I, I'm an LL fan for life. LL, I'm an LL I'm fan say, for yeah, life I, now. Yes, right. LL, because I was about to say, like, you, because I heard you say many times, Run DMCs was, you know what I mean, was your guys too. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I remember when they was I there, I was coming up there. Together, that's right. Yeah. Together forever. All of them like, yo. So I, I really that's why I said I can't stop at five. Right. Biggie too. I understand. Biggie, nice. well, yeah. Biggie, Tupac, LL, you look at Jay-Z, Nas is all time of people getting on me when I talk about yeah. Nas, but MZ Eminem because Eminem mainstream to that white audience, but but Nas is brilliant. I know this. You know, yeah. Eric B and Rock Kim can never leave them out of the mix, no doubt. You can't. Not know, even K R S one. K R S one in there too. No. Gotta put him in there. Yeah. Gotta put him in there. No doubt about it. You know. I interviewed Snoop recently, and Snoop was talking about this is a young man's game, but he's still rapping at 50. How old are you, right. and how long are you going to be doing this? Yo, until, until it's my time to go in the dirt. So my time. I might not got to talk, but but as far... See, rappers always acting like they retired. Stephen A., they be behind closed doors, right? It's like, once you're, once you're a writer and you're a real rapper, you always going to be having something to say. You might see a nice, pretty apple on TV and you might just be like, yo, you might just say something to rhyme with Apple. You still rhyming. You know what I mean? But I always tell my fans, yo, listen, man, if I got a cane, even if false, if even if I got false teeth, I'm still gonna be throwing darts. I'm still throwing them. Even if it's at my grandkids, I'm still going in. Because well, I, doing, I got love for how much I love for. You doing something that I talk about all the time. If you standing still, you ain't living. You got to keep it moving. You got to do what right. you got to do. You living, or you might as well, or you might as well go into the ground. You you got to keep on moving. Right. You can't stop. Right. That's what I've always said. Let me get to it's set just, the tone again, real quick though, because right. set, let's get into set the tone. Guns and Roses dropped earlier this month. Tell me about the concept and who's featured on the album. Oh, we got a bunch of features on the album. Um, the concept was just some like I, uh, I said before was just um, it's supposed to have been an R and B album. But I, I thought about it because I haven't gave my friends and my people like this ghost face, ghost face, ghost face. And so I had to switch it up. And in the middle of me switching it up, you know, we did like me and Nas, Wu-Tang and Nas did mad dates on the road. So I had to work in between there. Um, so, uh, 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 yeah, that's why I had got the rest of the other hard records, kept a couple of female records. So that's the Guns N' Roses. But set the tone, like I told you earlier, was just set the tone was... um was just setting the tone for Supreme Clientele too, that everybody just want, because they I can, they say that that's my, a lot of people say that's my best album to date with Supreme Clientele too, more creative and everything like that. And I could agree to some to some extent, but um, um, yeah, and I, you know, on the, the features was like, you got Nas, you got, you got Raekwon, you got Method Man, you got uh, October London, you got Sheik Luge, Jim Jones, you got my man, Ice, Ice Man, Bronx Man, um, I got my man Harley on a lot of the hooks. I got Fat Joe, Remy Ma. You know, it's just, it's just, you know, I got Serrani, Buster Rhymes. It's, you know, my little man Chucky. It's, it's, it's just, it's just a list, a list, AZ, a list of names. It's a, a list of names. You may be, 
You made me laugh when you brought up Remy Ma because I was I I, I was next to her at, 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 at the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight. She was pissed off, poor. <laughs> she was mad as hell that Deontay Wilder lost that fight. I was kind of mad too, by the way, but he shouldn't have gotten the ring with somebody forty pounds heavier than him. That was it. And, yeah. and my man Meth, I can't. I, I, how tight are you and Meth? How much do you and Meth and Man keep in touch, if at all, whatever? What's that like? What's that relationship like for you? Yo, that's my brother right there. Yo, we 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 tight. You know, I love, I love that bro, bro. Yo, listen, meth so cool, man. It's like it's so down to earth. It's it's like he's a real one. I, 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 he's a real. He's that, that's it right there. He's a real one. He he's calls me. He calls me. He calls me little Stevie. He calls me little Stevie. He uses it to tease me and all of this other stuff. Yeah, calls me little Stevie. You know what I'm saying? But 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 he know I got he know I got mad love for him. We joke around all the time. But yo, yo, that yo yo go go yo the brother his acting. On power, I'm I'm very oh, proud of yeah. him. I'm yeah. very proud of him, brother. He doing a hell of a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told him too, and I, I congratulate him all the time because out of the whole crew, it's like yo, he's the one that took it there, and he's done. He's like he could do that and still get busy. Like he just blew yes. me out the frame on one of my records. Yeah. So I'm like I'm like yo, meth. Like even the guy sit there and play a lawyer. And all that, like, and and I know him, I know him, know him, but and I remember when a he slick was ass lawyer Brooklyn. though, a, a a slick ass or a slick ass lawyer. Yeah. That's right up his yeah. alley. He he know that exactly. But you know what? I asked him yeah. one day. I said, Yo, how do you how do you remember your lines, bro? Then like, but you know, he said, Yo, you had to just. He was reading books, man. He had to read the Actors Guide and this and that and the third. And I'm just looking yep. at him on the plane to sit next to him. I want to pick his brain. And every time I get a chance yeah. to, like, I might come to him and I might be like, yo, yo, the money was left on the docks, man. Um, um, So what are you going to do about it, man? They've been sitting there for like three days now. Yep. You know what I mean? Nobody ain't getting it yet. I need that money. What are you going to do? It's at the dock. And just go into acting mode out of nowhere. And he knows how to wow. get him to feed right back into it. And come back where he just had me dying laughing because of the stuff that he just be oh, saying. He's hilarious. Like, let, let me tell you something. Yeah, let, me, let, let me he's shock you with this he's one. Hilarious. Let me shock you with this one. I don't know when, yeah. but one of these days you're going to see me and him acting together. Mark my words. Mark my oh. words. We gonna, you know you're what? Gonna see, you're going to see us acting together. It's going to be wild. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. God. I don't know how, right. but I promise Listen. you, I'm promising you it's going to happen. Make no mistake. Look, before I let Listen. you get on out of here, man. I, I, before I let you get on out of here, I got to ask you something, man, because Wu-Tang, a lot of people don't realize that y'all made history as the first rap group with a Vegas residency. Vegas residency. Yes. I want to know, can yeah. fans expect that in the future? And and, and that's real money in there. Vegas, damn it, they yeah. print money. They yeah, print they, money. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, listen, we just knocked out, I think, like a good, like, one, two, three, four, like around like four shows real quick. We got some more. We coming up in September, though. But, um, if these everything and everything is selling out really well, so they just wanted to test us. So they saying if it goes well with these next couple of shows, they might give us like fifty to one hundred dates next year in Vegas. Wow! And put the with the seat. So yo, it's a blessing yo to be here like like thirty years plus and 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 to still keep it going and and and, and to see that it's like I can't you know I can't even complain yo. It's just work. I give all praises to the Most High and um. You know, and just keep the good energy, the good vibes, and and to continue to receive with the most high just placing upon us. That's it. Last question for you. Last question for you. Wu Tang logo permanently etched in the minds of an entire generation. There's no denying yeah. that, man. Does it surprise right. you to see people of all cultures just just supporting y'all, you know, just with everything that comes with the Wu Tang clan? I mean, does that yes. surprise you? How does that make you feel? Yes. Yo, I feel so happy. And I feel so blessed at the same time because when we first came in, I knew that we was going to be something as far as like just musically, but I didn't know that it was going to become like a cult where, where when you go overseas and you see people pull up their shorts and you see a picture of old dirty on a leg, you know what I mean? And, and, and I know there's people, I said this to my man the other day, like I know there's people cause there's so many tattoos and some people, so many people come up to me telling me, like, yo, my man passed away. He was a Wu-Tang fan, and he had the, the tattoo on him. And I'm thinking, like, how many tattoos is in that grave with that devil on it? Like, this is a cult. You go to Australia, New Zealand, and they just, it's more bigger there than it is here. So, but I'm totally blessed that the Most High gave us, put us on that train, that plane, whatever you want to call it, that ride 
to get to where we is right now, bro. Because yo, we were just kids coming out of the staircase inside the like, you know, in 1988, 87, inside the era. And you know me, I'm all I got is you, baby. I came up off the oatmeal right. and fried bologna and plucking roaches out the cereal box. To be where I'm at right, right now, yo, bro. I try to tell people that all the time. We know what roaches yeah, and rats look like. We know what that's like. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know? You know what I mean? So we Listen, out here. You, and yo, you, one more thing. To, to the love doctor. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to the love doctor. <laughs> to the love doctor. What's up, bro? I know you What you need, bro? What I you need? I'm here for you. What's up? Yo, I wanted to get here, right? Because it was like, um, I know you love Martin. And every time when you, not every time, but when you up there like that, and you give him like one of the rev you wet behind the ears, you had me on the floor because Bruh. the more I watch Martin now, <laughs> It's like I enjoy it more better than what it did when it first came out because I'm looking at everything. And to hear Martin say, yeah. like, yo, Gina, oh, I fell off. I fell off. Like this and that and the third. Yeah. It's like, yo, <laughs> like, yo, yo, yo. yo. I, but I wanted to ask you, what's your best episode? My best episode of what, though? Or for Martin Lawrence? Or for Martin, of Martin, the Martin show. Oh, easily, easily. The, the, the time, it's two of them. It's two of them. It's two of them, all right? Yeah. The yeah. one and one, yeah. the one where he told the story about first meeting Gina, and then, not now, baby, <laughs> no words, baby, don't get happy on me, baby. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? She comes yes. by the corner. So where do we go from here to the top if you're not afraid, baby? I mean, yes, afraid, that shit was baby. hilarious, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. That, the, that's, my, that's my favorite one, but it's tied okay. with this one. It's tied with okay. this one. When he sat there. And found out that Tommy and Pam hooked up. When they hooked up. And because oh, it, it was the introduction yeah, of the love yeah, doctor. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, I remember And so and he come, he come out of the bathroom. He that's right, he come out of the bathroom. And Gina was like, hold on, hold on. I gotta get the camera. Yeah. This is a, this, you the know, camera, this a Kodak the moment. Camera. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And and and, and then Tommy just came up on him, you know, just coming up. Oh. I wanna go back here. Tommy got in the space show. You ain't gonna be talking. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, gonna yeah, have, yeah. I heard enough yep. of the insults. He like, you acting like yeah. that's your woman, you gossip. You know. Hilarious. Yo, 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 that, those are yo, my two chilling. favorites. Yo, you chilling it right now. Yeah, yo, listen. That, I, I'm, I, just I I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. I want to. I yo, just yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I always wanted to ask you that. Yeah, because I watch y'all no watch doubt. him like, yo, this guy. Yo, listen. I watch him so favorite much. comedy. Yo, he's yeah. yo, the best. That's the that's the best. Because always, I used to be like, Jamie Foxx and Martin. Jamie Foxx and Martin show. Martin show blows it away. Just blows it away. I I I gotta say that though. But yeah, but but mine just when when him and Cole was fighting in the store. Remember they fighting in the store? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was funny. That was funny. That's yeah, funny. when he told Pam like, yo, you so fluffy. Yeah, yeah. That's when he said you wet behind the ears. <laughs> that was the wet behind the ears. That was the wet behind the ears. That's right. Yeah, so, man. But and, it's a lot of them. And then you know, you know, you know, it's the last one. There's another one too, though, right? When he sat up there and tried to imitate Nino Brown from now he tried to imitate Nino Brown from New Jack City when he thought they taught they stole his CD oh, player, his mind. DVD player. Suspicious mind. You know that's suspicious mind. That's right. That's yeah, it. That's what I'm that's saying. It. That's suspicious yeah. mind. That's right. And it was yeah, Broadman. Yeah, yeah, Broadman yeah. took it. Yeah, I, thought, all right, all right. I thought you'd get my note. I thought you'd get the note I left you under the bathroom sink. What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the dumbest. What? Why would you leave a note under the bathroom sink? The I think you looked sink. there yeah, you since I ran out of all the toilet paper. Hilarious, <laughs> absolutely hilarious. Yo, yo bro, the best. yo, yo, the best. listen. I know you get ready to go. I know you get ready to go. Last question, I promise. Right. Because, Cream, yeah, you one. brought up Cream, Cream Finance, cryptocurrency rules everything around me. You heavily into Bitcoin. You know, you talk about releasing 10,000 Bitcoins of exclusive music for your new album. You got your own damn killer coffee brand. I mean, what, what, what? Oh, you you ain't just a musician. I gotta get you some coffee. I gotta get you some coffee. Yeah, yeah, different, Go yo, diff, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Different kinds of coffee. Okay. And all like, Jadakiss is doing the coffee too. So we was talking like, yo, we got to get sponsoring. We can get ahead and get together and just merge it. You I know what I mean? Jada about just, that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, nah, right, I got to right. get you. Nah, that, that's, that's doing well. That's doing well. And I got the energy. I got a drink called, a drink called Hard Cream too. Um, um, That's okay. like a, no, not an energy drink, but it's a real nice cream drink. That goes really, really well okay. when you mix it with whatever, though. Yeah. 
Yo, we move, right. we move. When and you we got a new label. Like, you, you, like, you got yeah. a new label. You making money. You make the hell. You making money. It's legit, damn it. You got you entitled right. to be a businessman. The money out there to be gotten. Go get it. You're right. You also founded okay. a new label, Yap City. Yap City, you got Yap a new City. label? Yeah, Lab, okay. Yap, Yap, Yap City. Good label. Yep. I got a few artists, okay. dope artists on there. Um, right now, we with this set the tone. We're gonna start moving into the Yap City things and start putting out the artists here and there, nice Latin artists too, everything like that. Yo, it's 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 a it's a movement. It's a movement. It's a movement. It's a movement. I got you. Rise yes, of a brother. killer and set the tone. Both out now yes. by the one and only Ghostface yes. Killer. Appreciate you all, yes. love, bro. Good sitting there talking you. with you, my man. You take care of yourself. Love is love, my brother. Anytime, anytime. Love is love. Appreciate, Appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. No love doubt. Bless. All right, man. You, my take brother. it easy. All right, peace. My thanks to the great Ghostface Killer. Check out Rise of a Killer and Set the Tone. They're both out now, by the way.